Your voice. My voice. You asked me before what I would miss about you most. I will miss your voice the most. <laughs> London isn't too far away, right? Not far enough. <laughs> Jokes aside, this is a really good opportunity for you. You will be able to show London the beauty of our batik. And what about you? Why don't you follow your dreams? To be a photographer? You want to know the real reason? Because... I am secretly a superhero, and I have too many lives to save. Let's go. Where to? I've lived here so long, but I still haven't been sightseeing. Today's my last chance. Come on. This is another thing ticked off the list. I've always wanted to bring you to try Indonesian food. You've never made me any. Well, I'll trade you a dish for one of your photos. You never answered me earlier about becoming a photographer, by the way. How many grains of salt do you think there are in here? If you add one more, it won't improve anything. There are enough photographers in the world. It won't change anything. But that tiny grain of salt will have its own place on the dish that no other grain will land on. I guess. I've never thought of it that way. So tomorrow, you will land on the London part of the plate. Exactly. There may be other but designers in the world, but they've all landed in other places. That's why you need more than one grain of salt. Maybe I'm just a grain of salt stuck in the ocean. It's pretty spicy stuff. <laughs> Indonesian food, huh? I'll um, go and get us some water. Excuse me, sir. No photography? I, I'm s sorry, I, uh, I didn't realize. I'll put the camera away. <laughs> I was just kidding. You can take as many photos as you like. <sighs> I'm Ayu, by the way. Yeah. Uh, did you um, make all of this yourself? Some by myself, some with my grandmother. And this one is my favorite, actually. It's the first one we made together. You know, it's really beautiful where the light interacts with the fabric. It would work really nicely with some high dynamic photography or with black and white colors. Wow, you know your stuff. Well, uh, I've been doing it since I've been a kid. It's a big passion of mine. Well, actually, we've been looking for someone to take photos for our website. How much do you charge? Actually, uh, I don't think I could do that. You see, uh, I'm not a professional photographer. I'm sure you could find someone better than me. Oh, I just assume you took photos for a living. You just sound so keen about it. Oh, I've got a normal, boring job. I would love to take it up full time one day, though. Well, why not now? You gotta start somewhere, right? I guess so. But uh, another day, perhaps. That's too bad. Um, 
Is there anything I can do to change your mind? Well, maybe. If you let me take you out for a coffee sometime, <laughs> I would reconsider it. I'd love to. Hey, Pierre, do you still have my phone charger? Yeah, it's in the pockets. My dearest Pierre, I want you to read this when you're alone and when you're feeling less stubborn. You may remember we went to a few places on my last day in Paris. I said I wanted to see the touristy places. We went on a bridge because you have your own bridge to cross. It may be daunting but I know you can do it. We then saw some art. You have an artistic eye and can see things that others can't. Don't waste it. We also visited the highest point in Paris because the sky's the limit and you should reach for your dreams. Lastly, we went to a garden. I'll never forget seeing so much life in one space. What better place to see how beautiful life can be if given the chance to grow. I want you to grow, Pierre. I want you to take the world in through your lens and share your vision. Maybe, if you have some room, you can take me with you. Anyway, I hope this letter finds you well. I believe in you.